Good evening ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the channel and you're joining me today because that's right, I've bought a drift car. It's an E36, but it's a four door. Yeah, but it has leather interior, but it's brown. But it's a 2.8 straight six, but I haven't heard it run. It has alloy wheels but the tyres are flat. Anyway, the guy assures me that it runs. Um, it's got no battery on, so I'll see if it does, but there's a bit of a story behind it, which I'll get into later. But it basically had a fire. Uh, the sound deadening had dropped onto the exhaust. He must have been sat there for a rather long amount of time, just revving it, and the sound deadening caught on fire. It's melted the donut bushing on the prop, so yeah, it's gonna be a good one. So the goal was to get the car running, but we got carried away. My uncle came down and we decided that the car doesn't need a brown interior. And when we've cut the carpets out, that's when we've noticed how bad the damage actually was inside. Um, I'll just get my trusty old head torch. Ooh. Just so I can show you. This car was on fire and it melted some wires. So the carpets were taken out, they were absolutely drenched, and there's about six inch of insulation under there. Um, but we cut that out so we could get out a lot of the water. There's still some water all left in here. Um, but you can see the damage that was actually done. Uh, so, if you look over here, this is where the electric window loom was, and obviously melted away. The bushing has melted in the gearbox, so I'll have to sort that, but it still selects gears, so that'll do. As you can see, the sound deadenings fell onto the exhaust here. It's all bunched up onto one side. Um, if we look around here, the donut to the prop is well and truly burnt. It's crumbling away. Um, this bush has got a bit of st stuff stuck to it, but I don't think it's actually damaged the bush. No, that's all right. But yeah, so that's caused the fire. Uh, there's a few bits melted on the tunnel in different parts, but obviously the heat's just got that much that it's then just burnt the carpet on the inside. So the story behind this car is that the guy was changing the coolant and he'd let it run for 30 minutes. Then he noticed that there was smoke coming out of the dash vents. So he's panicked a little bit. He's thrown a couple of buckets of water on it and then he's rang the fire brigade and they've absolutely doused it. So, as you can imagine, there's a lot of water in the car. Um, luckily, my uncle was coming down uh, to give me a hand, and he managed to diagnose that there was an ignition module that was absolutely filled with water. So, we stripped that, got the heat gun on it, put it back together, and the car actually runs now. Um, but it was a bit of problem solving, and there was a lot of modules to go through, and we cleaned all those and dried those out as well. Um, removed the alarm out of it because it was just randomly going off as well and now the car, as I said now the car runs so we can concentrate on more drifty stuff go I'm either going to leave these lovely brown seats in, just the front ones, and take the back ones out anyway, uh, the carpet's already out as you've seen, or I'm going to get bucket seats with the 36 rails, or if I can find some other bucket seats, I'll just adapt these rails to fit. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment, but if you do want to see more progress, subscribe, and I will continue to post some stuff.